Hey there, this is Silent Jess, and I'm back here with another tutorial. Since uh, Valentine's Day is coming up soon, I figure we'll le learn how to play a love song this time. So we'll learn one of the greats. This is Lips of an Angel by Hinder. So first things first, we're going to be starting off with the tuning. The tuning is one step down from standard, so your sixth string is going to be D. Your fifth string is going to be G. Your fourth string is going to be C. Your third string is going to be F. Second string is going to be A. And your first string is going to be D. And when you get that down, we'll start it off with the other lesson. Okay, once you get your guitar tuned, let's start off with the intro and the verse. For the intro and the verse, the chords and the chord progression is going to be the same. So we're going to be starting off with a B sus4. So it's going to be a B power chord with the first two strings open. C sharp minor 7, which is a C sharp uh, power chord with the first two strings open. Over into an A sus2. Then an E major. Okay, so when we put all those chords together, it's going to sound something like this for the verse in the intro. Okay, once you get those chords uh, all settled out, let's start with the intro and verse. So, what we're going to be doing is starting our B sus4, but we're going to be hitting the fifth string, the fourth, and the third. And we're going to be doing two downstrokes, then hitting the first string, and up pick on the second string. Then we're going to be doing a down, down and upstroke. And on the upstroke, we're going to be sliding to the C sharp minor 7. So, doing it nice and slow. Then once we're on our C sharp minor 7, we're going to be doing the same, same thing. Hitting the 5th, 4th, and 3rd string. Two, da two down strokes. Hitting the 1st string. Up pick on the 2nd. Then we're going to be doing a down up stroke. So, for this part, you can either slide to the ACS2, or what's recorded is do a down stroke and an upstroke with the open strings. Then go to the A sus2. Then on the A sus2, same thing. Two down strokes. Hit the first string. A pick on the second. Down, then an upstroke with the open strings. Then we're going on to our E major. Then for the E major, same thing. Two strokes. Then hitting the first string. A pick on the second string. A down stroke. Then either what you can do is you can either mute the strings uh, once you're switching to the B sus4, or you can just hit open strings. Okay, so let's play that all together very, very slowly. Okay, so you practice that, then 
you have the pattern for the intro and verse. Okay, so that progression is going to be repeating three times. Then on the fourth time around, it's going to be ending on a E sus two chord. So it's going to sound like this. So the strumming pattern for the A sus two chord is going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let's play that ending part nice and slow together. Start on the BSS4. C sharp minor 7. A sus 2. So let's play the intro and verse slowly together. So once you have the intro and verse down, well, let's head off into the pre-chorus. So the chord progression for the pre-chorus is going to be E major, off to a B sus4, C sharp minor 7, then ending off in an A sus2. So the strumming pattern for the pre-chorus is very simple. Start off on our E major. It's going to be down, up, down, down, up. Switch to your B sus4. Down, up, down, down, up. C sharp minor 7. Down, up, down, down, up. A sus2. Down, up, down, down, up. Then second time around, it's going to be down, up, down, down, up. Down, up, down, down, up. Down, up, down, down, up. Then ending on your A sus2. Down. We're going to do a dead string hit. Then up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. So all together it's going to sound like this. So let's do that a little bit slower. E major. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so now we're on to the chorus. So the chords for the chorus are going to be E. You're going to be doing an E power chord on the 7th fret. And with having the first two strings open. Then to your B sus4. B sus2. Then ending off in an A sus2. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, so let's play that together slowly. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Mute, mute your strings. Down, up. A sus2, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
So on the second time around of the chorus, instead of ending on a strumming pattern on the ASUS 2, you're going to be doing palmutes and downstrokes. So it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So all together it's going to sound like... So let's play that all together nice and slow. Starting off on Eerie. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then after you play that, we're going to be going to C sharp minor seven, B sus four, F sharp five power chord, E over G sharp, and ending on A five. I'm going to make sure to have the chord get diagrams up to make sure you can follow properly. Okay, so the strumming pattern is going to be very simple. So let's go to our BSS4. It's going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, C sharp minor 7, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, F sharp minor, F sharp's 5, I mean, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then we're going to mute the strings on the down, down stroke. Then go to your uh, E over G sharp with an up stroke. Then to your A5 with the down, down stroke. And that's going to be the end of the chorus. Okay, so let's do that together slowly. Down, down, up. Once you have that all together, then you know how to do the chorus. Okay, so right after the first chorus and right in between the second verse, there's going to be an interlude. The chords are going to be C sharp minor 7, B sus 4, and then and off in uh, A sus 2. And it's going to play like this. So the strumming pattern is going to be the same as the verse. It's going to be down, down, one, two, down, up, down, down, one, two, down, up, down, down, one, two, down, up, down, down, one, two. So once we get that all together, we're going to be heading on to the second verse. So since the second verse is going to be played the exact same as the first, we're going to be skipping over that, and we're going to be heading into the second chorus. So for the second chorus, since the first part of the chorus is going to be staying the same, we're going to be focusing on the second part. So we're going to be focusing on the part with uh, C sharp minor 7, B sus 4, F sharp 5, E over G sharp and A5. So for the second part of the chorus, it's going to start off the same, but it's going to end differently. On the A5 chord, it's going to go down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, then down, up, uh, with muted strings. So all together, it's going to sound like this. Down, 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 down. C sharp uh, minor seven down down up, down down up down down up down down up F sharp five down down up down down up down down up 
mute strings, E over G sharp on the upstroke, A5, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, mute. Then we're going to go to uh, what's played over the guitar solo. So for the rhythm of the guitar solo, we're going to be playing C major, C major 7, D6 over 9, and E. Then we're going to slide our index finger up to the 11th fret, and our pinky onto the 13th fret, moving the 5th string, and playing the 6th string down. And we're going to be playing that octave. Then we're going to slide that back to 7th and 9th. So that will sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So once you get to the octave, what you're going to need to be doing is palm muting the 6th string and playing the octave on an upstroke, then down, up, down, up, then slide down to your, to the seventh fret, down, up, down. Then on the second time around, we're gonna be doing the same, muting the sixth string with our palm, and upstroke on 11th, 13th, then down, up, down, up, then move up one fret, 12th and, uh, 14th, down, and move up two frets, 14th and 16th, and do an upstroke. So it's going to play like... And on the third time, it's going to play exactly as the first. So, palm mute the sixth string, upstroke on your uh, octaves, then down, up, down, up, then move up to the 7th and 9th, down, up, down. So let's play that whole section together. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. told me that the pain in the ass of recording is cats. I'm getting harassed by two of them. Then for the last section of uh, the guitar so or rhythm for the guitar solo is going to be ending on a B, B5 chord. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then after when the guitar solo is finished, we're going to be hanging back into the chorus. And the chorus is going to be the same chords. E, B sus 4, D sus 2, and any note in A sus 2. But it's going to be played slowly. It's going to be down, down. Then you're going to hit the first string. Hit the first string again on an upstroke. Then the second string. B sus 4, down, down. Hit the first string, second string, and hit the third. Then your D sus two, down, down, mute, down, up. Then end off on your A sus two. Then down, up, down, up. Then it's going back, going back to the regular tempo right after that. So for the last chorus, it's going to play the same, but. Uh, once you get to the A5 chord, it's going to play exactly how, how it does before uh, the guitar solo. So down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and down, up on that string hit. Then it's going to circle back to the B sus4. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. C sharp minor 7. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. F sharp. 
five. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, and ending on an A. So let's play the last chorus together slowly. So that's how the last chorus is going to play. Then after you're done that, let's head off into the outro. Now we're going to go into the outro. So the chord for the outro is going to be C sharp minor seven, B sus four, and A sus two. And the strumming pattern is going to be down, And after that, you're going to go into the intro riff. So, B sus4, down, down, one, two, down, up, C sharp minor seven, down, down, one, two, down, up, open, to the A sus2, down, down, one, two, down, open, then ending off on a E major. So all together it's going to sound like. And if you put that all together, then you'll know how to play Lips of an Angel by Hinder. And if you play that song for your special someone like I do, then they might stare daggers at you too. So thanks for uh, putting up with me. Take care and hope I catch you on the next one.